For 25 years, Bemidji BICAP has partnered with the Youth Build program. Our Josh Peterson was there today as they broke ground on their next project. Just like the sign says, another BICAP Youth Build project. Near the intersection of 12th Street and Bemidji Avenue, beneath the trees and blue sky, the ground broke for another new one-bedroom home built by local youth. It's a huge asset to the community because what we're doing is we're building houses that um, are, are viable for the future. Um, and with that, we uh, put low-income people in those houses so that they can live in nice houses. The lessons of life and the valuable skills that will be learned is the drive for those working directly with the youth. These young folks get get the uh, training that they do through this, they get a whole bunch of life skills along with it. It isn't just learning how to build a home. It's enjoyable to watch them when they learn something and get it and they enjoy it. But our kids are involved from ground up. As you see back here, uh, we broke ground today. Uh, tomorrow, excavating will be in. So the kids will be out here visiting the sites. So they'll be a part of, even though they may not be doing the work, they'll be a part of every intricate of this building. From start to finish, the City of Bemidji grants exactly one year for Youth Build to finish constructing an entire house. We have these kids for four days a week, and they're roughly on scene maybe seven, maybe six hours. And you know, as Minnesota, we, with our weather sometimes, so we'll be pushing this project very hard this year. Over the span of 25 years, multiple homes have been built or remodeled by BICAP and Youth Build in Bemidji, Black Duck, and Cass Lake filling the need for quality and efficient homes for low-income families. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. The Youth Build Project on Bemidji Avenue hopes to have the home completed by next spring. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.